Our coverage of the Coachella Valley Firebirds continues tonight as the team is in Seattle for their Home Away From Home series. Sports Director Blake Arthur flew up to the Emerald City and is live tonight with more on the game that happened today and excitement around the team's inaugural season. Blake. Yeah, Karen, thank you so much. What a joy it is to be here in Seattle flying up with our assistant news director, Tim Kiley, who's behind the camera, been doing a wonderful job for us all night. And look, we've enjoyed it. You know, we've been having crab and shrimp and oysters and the, and the whole whole bit. We've really enjoyed our Seattle experience. And uh, yeah, the, the Firebirds took the ice, their first ever home game, if you will. Of course, their home is the desert, but they had their first home game tonight and lost to the Abbotsford Canucks. We haven't seen this team lose at all this year, but they ended up losing. 4-3 tonight. Here's some of those highlights of the game. And, well, it was just great to see live hockey in person. I mean, uh, I tell everybody that live hockey is the best when you see it in person. Uh, the Firebirds, of course, uh, got out to the early lead, but then they, they did not end up winning the game. The Firebirds played in front of a small, invited audience, owners, investors, sponsors, and media. But with the loss, they moved to 2-1 and one in their inaugural season. Hey, still a lot of hockey to be played, and a lot of it is going to be played in the desert while the team will make their official home in December. We're really excited. Everybody is kind of realizing this is happening, and we're excited to be able to bring it. It definitely is exciting. And hockey is much better when you get to watch in person. Which is what I had the opportunity to do here in Seattle. Taking in the Firebirds' first ever home game. And despite the first ever loss in franchise history, it was still a lot of fun. It's, it's definitely a, a high, high pace physical game. Oh. Seeing a game in person, you really get a feel for that, especially in a small rink like this. Um, you can really get a feel for the speed and physicality of the game. Now, while the team is enjoying their time here in Seattle at their temporary home, they can't wait to get to the Coachella Valley, where the Firebirds will settle in and make their permanent home. We're definitely looking forward to getting down to uh, Coachella Valley and playing in our home rink there, though, for sure. You see the updates every day from Akershire Arena and how exciting that place is going to be to play in. And to see all the fans there on opening night on December 18th, it's going to be really special. Everyone's saying that it's beautiful and it's going to be a great place for us to play, so we're definitely all really excited for that. The birds will be flying south for good soon, and they're hoping for a warm welcome from the faithful. Keep waiting. We're coming. We're coming eventually, but uh, I hope they got a good view of, of our team and our, our players and have, should have an anticipation about what kind of uh, team we're going to have on the ice when we do get on to, to CV. Well, you heard it there from Coach. He keeps uh, preaching patience. So the Coachella Valley Firebirds will be in the Coachella Valley sooner than we know. Their next game actually Sunday here in Seattle at Climate Pledge Arena, which is the home of the Seattle Kraken. We're at the Community Iceplex, which is where the Kraken practice, and this is where they had that private game today, their first ever home game. So uh, as I said and have been saying, it's been a blast being up here in Seattle. been a lot of fun, and we hope you enjoyed the coverage. We'll have continuing coverage of the Firebirds throughout the entire season and cannot wait for them to be in the desert December 18th Sunday December 18th mark your calendars that is their first ever game their desert debut at Akershire Arena so reporting live from Seattle Blake Arthur News Channel 3